There's a dog barking. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned on all the videos that I'm gonna be posting. Let's get right into it. Step one, throw out all the unnecessary products that you have. Now you do not need 10 shampoos, 15 conditioners, five different gels in your product stash. You want to stick with two good shampoos, two good conditioners, and one gel. Try not to dibble dabble in each type of product that you have. Stick to a consistent regimen. Trust me, your hair will love it. Now what to do with the extra products that you have? Donate them. Donate them to a neighbor, a friend, a family member, anybody that needs shampoo, conditioner, or what have you, especially during this time of need. Okay, tip number two, we're gonna talk about protective styling. Now protective styling, I'm pretty sure all of us know this, but to those who do not know what protective styling is, it's basically a style, a hairstyle, that protects your hair from all the natural elements, um, protects your hair from your hands, anything of that nature. What you wanna do is stick to that protective style between a week and two months. Do not go over two months because that's when your hair starts to get matted, tangles, you have debris, excess debris, and you're gonna deal with buildup. And it's gonna be very, very time consuming to go ahead and detangle your hair. So we want to limit that stress, limit the time that we're dealing with our hair, and go ahead and do a week to two months of protective styling. Now the options that you have, <laughs> the list goes on. You have box braids, twist outs, uh, single lease twists, you have buns, low buns, puffs. Suggestion, do not wear puffs all the time or else you're gonna deal with breakage around the perimeter of your hair. And we're trying to avoid that, right? Step number three is good old TLC. No, we're not talking about the girl group. Oh, love them. We're talking about tender love and care. You want to incorporate products that actually nourish your hair, nourish your scalp during the time that you're doing your protective style, especially during the quarantine. Because I know me, for instance, I don't like to mess with my hair, and if I'm not messing with my hair, I tend to neglect it. And then it becomes dry, and once I'm trying to take out my hair during that protective style, it's as if I just wasted that time doing that protective style because my hair starts breaking off, or it's just too dry to handle. So please, add some products like oil. I do have a DIY video on how to create your own oil for hair growth. So if you wanna go ahead and check that out, the link's right here. And also what you wanna do is go ahead and incorporate moisturizing products. Your hair will love it <laughs> during this time. So like I said, oils and moisturizing products during your protective style stage. Tip number four, eat healthy. Please incorporate a healthy diet in your regimen. What you eat also exudes out in your hair journey. Be sure to stay tuned for a video where I discuss on what foods help with a healthy hair growth journey. And step number five, document your journey. Take a lot of pictures of your hair journey so you can go ahead and compare them. And those are my tips. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at naturally underscore Izzy. Hit that like button, and stay tuned for my next videos. Bye.